गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आर डिजिटल क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग वीडियोज एंड कम्प्लीटिंग ऑल योर नोट्स माई सेल्फ मिसेज शगुफ्ता शेख द सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ ई वी एस वन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ आर लेसन नंबर फोर वॉटर सेफ फॉर ड्रिंकिंग इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द थिंग्स दैट फ्लोट आर लाइटर दैन वॉटर the things that sink are heavier than water and also the process of allowing heavier particles to settle to the bottom of still water is called settling and now we will proceed further with an activity in the previous activity we have seen particles of soil sink in water and form sediment it means that particles of soil are heavier than water now you will take that water only and pour it into another beaker without disturbing the sediment even though this water look much clearer than the before there are soil particles in it now you have to take a piece of alum see this is called a alum and swirl into the water like this and leave this beaker for 2 to 3 hours after some time you will notice that see here i have already performed for you after some time you will notice that particles floating in water slowly settle to the bottom see here it is the soil particles are settle at the bottom and the water in the upper part becomes much clearer than before it becomes much transparent and the twigs and the leaves are still floating on the water it means that swirling alum in the water helps the soil particle in the muddy water to settle down from this activity we understands that swirling alum in water helps the soil particle in muddy water to settle down now again there is another activity for you which you have to try at your home now for this activity you have to take the same water which we have taken for our previous activity this is that water only now take one empty beaker take a tea strainer and place over it now you have to take a clean cotton cloth and place over the strainer like this now we will pour this water through a strainer now what you will notice here what does you see you will notice that rubbish and soil particles remain on the cloth see here can you see all the soil and rubbish particles are on the cloth the water collected in the beaker looks transparent it means that if we strain muddy water it helps to make it clean this process is called filtration after doing this experiment throw water into the soil and wash your hand with soap and clean water from this activity we understands that if we strain muddy water it helps to make it clean this process is called filtration now there is a new term for you to learn that is potable water water safe for drinking what do we mean by potable water water 
that does not endanger our health in any way when we drink it is called safe drinking water or potable water it means that when we drink water which do not create any harm or put our health into danger that water is called potable water or safe drinking water students we will learn more about water safe for drinking that is potable water during the rainy season we get muddy water do we drink muddy water no we use alum or filter the water its muddiness disappears and water look clean and transparent and now it is safe for drinking pure water has no taste or color smell if water has a color or foul smell one must not drink it can make us ill student here is a new term for you to learn let us see first is micro micro means very very small next is organism organism means a living thing microorganisms a living thing that cannot be seen by the naked eye or even with a magnifying glass next is microscope an instrument for looking at very very small things which we cannot see with our eyes or even through a magnifying glass students do you know yogurt or buttermilk contain microorganisms as in new term we have seen what do we mean by microorganisms it means that living things that cannot be seen by the naked eye these microorganisms convert milk into yogurt they are very useful for us all microorganisms are not useful some microorganisms are very harmful and can cause diseases students have you ever noticed that there are various numerous kind of microorganisms around us they are in soil water air rock anywhere and everywhere even though the water looks clear and transparent there are microorganisms present in it we often hear that during rainy season there is an outbreak of many diseases such as diarrhea or gastritis disease at such times we should boil the water only then it becomes safe for drinking because boiling water kills the microorganisms in it and prevents diseases here we have finished with our lesson in this lesson we have seen different methods to make water clean and transparent i hope you all might have understood the lesson kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification thank you